Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Mary. In this channel, we teach how to sew and we give some tips in sewing that make your life easier. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful pot. It can be for your hair, it can be for your shirt. You can also have bow and your dress. Let's go back in time and show you how to make these beautiful so I drafted some pattern for the bow that I will be creating. I just scrap a, a cardstock paper or any material you could draft a pattern with. So this is my um, <coughs> my scraps, uh, my uh, fabric scraps uh, box. I keep all my scraps in boxes, sometimes in plastic bags. So I also try to keep them folded or ironed in one box and sometimes I go by and sort them by colors like you see you don't have to do this but yeah so it took me like five or six good minutes to find the nice fabric that it could be uh, good for the bowl that I'm creating it was not an easy decision no it wasn't <laughs> Hi guys, let me interrupt for one minute. Uh, you must be wondering why I'm using scraps. Use whatever material you have. I'm just so this is a good idea for using the scraps that I have. So feel free to change the material to any material you prefer. I also made these bows with other material like foam, like fall leather. Whatever material you have in your stock, feel free to use. So let's go back to the video. So I finally made my decision, so let's move this box out of the scene. So, um, again, another hard decision to make today. So I ended up just start to look at them again and see which one I really like. So now we are going to just put your pattern on the uh, wrong side or right side in this case. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, and trace it and just cut it. Okay, so now we are going to start on assembling our bow. So first thing is the big piece, which is the bow uh, part itself. Uh, so you want to make sure when you fold it the right side together, leave a gap opening like here, like I'm showing you, and it's better to be in the middle. So I did that, and now we are going to uh, like open that um, that tube like this and make the seams just in the center and now we're gonna sew uh, or stitch on the two edges and open your seam allowance it will make the the bow look more um, flat and nice so yeah so the two edges I did that as well now we are uh, going to also cut our corners and uh, flip it inside out or turn it inside out and here we are uh, also it's a good time to give it a good press now I for some reason I did not explain this part but anyhow so what I did here I added a gathering stitch in the middle of my bow uh, and now I'm pulling my gathering stitch together to create these gathering and I'm taking the same thread that is inside this gathering and, and, and like you see tying it around the, the bow and secure it as well. Now we are going to work on the other part of the bow. I, I sew it on the 
and the edge as well and now I got my safety pin catching one edge and put it inside the tube and get it from the other side to turn it inside out. Again, you can give it a good press. Uh, so now I know that uh, this part is a little bit longer than it should, but it's always good to have it longer rather than shorter. So now I'm going to uh, cut the axis part or the extra part. And now we, um, you can do this by the sewing machine by uh, attaching it together, but I decided to do it with uh, hand sewing. So I sew it by hand and the two edges uh, together. So now you can either put some clips, attach a clip or attach an elastic. I decided to attach a clip. You can uh, put it under the, uh, the binding tape in the middle of the bow and then secure it with a glue gun. And we completed our first bow. And here is her sister. See the same process but this one I made a little bit bigger. But we completed our first uh, bow. Moving ahead to the next uh, template that I made and you need to cut two of this uh, uh, pattern. Again, this box, you have to have it <laughs> handy. So now I'm going to select uh, another um, fabric for this bow. Uh, this one is a little bit challenging because it needs uh, two two pieces and it need to be long so uh, it took me another f a good six minutes or so to find a good one I find this one is uh, is uh, I like the color so and it fits perfectly with the bow so I'm tracing my uh, my pattern now and of course you would need to cut it and you need to cut two of those so here we go and second one always go quicker than the other one. So now we're gonna uh, put the right side together. Make sure you align them right because like you see now I'm just flipping them around because there is one side is not the same as the other side. That's why that's how I made it. So now we are going to stitch all around leaving a gap opening in the center and I'm marking my gap that I'm gonna leave open it doesn't need to be too big but yeah as long as you can turn it uh, inside out so also a snip here is very important because it's gonna make your curves uh, very nice and sharp so make sure you give it, uh, you snip all around the curves and also uh, cut the corners as well. Now we're going to turn it inside out. Also give it a good press and now we are going to close uh, the opening that we left open so I added uh, I glued it with a fabric glue you can uh, a machine stitch it it's all up to you For this bow pattern, I think the best uh, thing to add to it is an elastic or a crunchy. So I added an elastic like you see in the middle and then you're gonna tie it around your elastic and you should be done.
So this one is made by lace. I know, I um, I thought let's take this further. So I got this lace and it's very beautiful and I want to use it in every project I made. That's a small story by the way. <laughs> so now I'm just deciding on how big I want my bow and now I'm going to cut uh, according to that. So uh, now you can uh, stitch on the edges uh, together, right side together of course, and now turn it inside out, right side out, and then make sure your stitches is in the middle of your back of the bow. <laughs> Now just gather it from the middle. Um, I just you don't have to sew it in your sewing machine. Here is another box that show up. <laughs> so <laughs> today we have lots of boxes to go through. So this one is my ribbons uh, where I keep my ribbons. So I just picked uh, the ribbon that I would like to add to my bow, and now we are going to tie uh, a ribbon around the bow. So I wanted to have it with four, uh, four, uh, four ribbons falling down from the, or hanging down rather from the bow. So I, I cut a longer piece. Now I'm finding my center of the bow and I'm just going to pin it with a pin. For now, you don't need to uh, sew that. So I'm tying my ribbon around my bow. That's the first one and now I'm gonna cut it and tie another ribbon so you'll end up having a uh, four uh, ribbon hanging down from your bow. So uh, for this one you can again add a clip or an elastic. I added an elastic for this one or a crunchy and now here is what is how easy is that. You just need to tie it to the ribbon that is falling from or hanging from the bow. Yeah, and to uh, to level up the cuteness, another box has show up. <laughs> and this is my embellishments that I use for other projects. So I added this ring; it made it look super cute. So I'm happy with that one as well. So here we had two pattern. We have lots of bows. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to share it and give it a thumbs up. See you next time, and thank you for watching. <laughs>